welcome back to my channel, SK the PA. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to become an EMT. Um, I've been trying to make this video for weeks now, um, but my camera actually broke. I had the S6, um, and for some reason, the screen went like um, it was purple, and then it went completely black, and I couldn't turn it on. You know, a $600 phone just gone in like two years. <laughs> um, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, buy another $600 phone or $800 phone. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to go into debt over a phone. You know, I decided to get the Moto um, X4, the Motorola X4. And I mean, it's to me, it's it's a good phone. They told me it was an upgrade. The system was upgraded from what the S6 was. So I'm like, okay, it is what it is. Um, it works really well. So that's what I'm going to use to record my videos for now. Um, I wanted to get a camera, like a real camera. But um, that's not in my budget. And as I said, I'm not going broke over YouTube or making videos. Um, I'm just going to work with what I got. The sun's out right now. So I'm trying to like um, do this video really fast. Um, but let me know, like, any cheap cameras I could use. Like, I'm looking into, like, create my own studio and everything in the future. Um, but for now, we're going to work with this, this, um, phone situation. All right, so, um, people have been liking the EMT videos and the patient care tech videos. So I'm going to make a couple more videos on, um, this topic. Um, I don't want to get into any kind of PA related stuff only because I'm not there yet. You know, I'm still working really hard to try and get into PA school. Um, so I don't want, I don't feel comfortable like making videos. I mean, I know a lot about the process, but I don't feel comfortable making those kind of videos right now, you know, because if I haven't done it yet, then I'm not going to try and tell somebody how to do it. Um, so, I mean, hopefully um, next year you'll see me making videos about how to get into PA school and topics regarding PA stuff, okay? So, um, for now, just enjoy these EMT and patient care tech videos. Um, and if you have any topic that you want me to go over, um, you can always um, put it in the, the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'll definitely um, respond to you, though. Um, how to become an EMT. Um, initially, like before I became an EMT, I thought it was like going to be really hard. But honestly, this um, career, it's not hard to get into. You know, you do have to put in the work. I mean, I'm not saying that it's just so easy. But if you put in the work, you can get it done. You know, it's only one semester long. Um, the summer semester is the shortest, which is the one I did. It was like three months. Um, some people do like the fall or spring semester and that's about like four months. But I mean, it's really worth it because, um, because now that I have my EMT license, you know, I can work as an EMT or a patient care tech. And I recently renewed my EMT license for two more years. Um, so you have to renew it every two years. Um, and I'll talk about that in a separate video, like what kind of like education you need and all that stuff. I'll talk about that in a separate video. Um, so the first thing that you do when you want to get into EMT school is do your research. Um, I said it in a previous video. Um, I'll put the link below about my EMT experience. But the first thing you have to do is do your research. You never want to get yourself into anything without fully researching it you know um you want to research things like accredit accreditation you know how long it takes to complete um the schooling you know is a, are the classes during the day are they at night um how many days per week you have to kind of fit um the school into your your lifestyle so if you have kids you have to consider um the days that they have um, EMT school versus like when you have to pick your kids up or you know just things like that so de definitely you know do your research um, I would specifically research I'm using this um, thing by the way if you see me looking down I'm using this little notebook 
my sister drew this and um, she's an artist and she creates like notebooks and all that stuff. Um, I'll leave her link below so y'all can go check her stuff out. She's really talented. Um, but yeah, so definitely research specifically the schooling. You know, is it a public school or is it a private school? Um, public schools definitely are usually usually very um, cheap compared to private schools and I would definitely go for a community college only because um, you know for a fact that they're accredited and community college are usually cheaper and um, you don't have to deal with the headache of that school possibly getting shut down I've seen it happen before I mean it's very annoying when you're trying to complete your schooling and then you hear that your school's gonna be shut down. I mean, that's that's scary. So just try not to um, get so overly excited about starting school that you don't properly do your research. Definitely research the cost. Um, and you know, some some schools do a payment plan. I know I was on a payment plan. I told you I was broke during that time. I was like fresh out of college and everything, so I didn't have much money. So at the community college, they let me do a payment plan. Um, and also look up NREMT pass rates, um, first time pass rates. And the NREMT is an exam that you have to take to become an EMT. So definitely look up the pass rates for the school and how it compares to the national average. I mean, you don't want to go to a school that has a pass rate of like 60% and the national average is like 80%. You know, that is not good. Um, so definitely, like, research all this stuff to make sure that you're getting yourself into a really good school that's going to prepare you to pass this in our EMT exam. So the next step that you have to do is to actually enroll in school. You know, enroll into an accredited school. You know, you've done your research and... Um, pick the term that's, that works best for you. I like the summer term because it's quicker and um, I could just focus for three months and get it done. Some people would rather go at a slower pace, um, so I would suggest that you, you take um, classes between fall and spring semesters because they usually go slower. We went at a rapid pace over the summertime, but I'd rather that so I could just like, you know, focus for three months and just get it out of the way. So decide you know, what's best for you and just, you know, get it done. Just enroll and um, pay your fee and, you know, move on. All right. So once you're in your program, um, of course, you got to study, 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 you know, study hard and just put in your 100 percent effort because it's only, you know, a short program. It's only like four, three or four months. So you want to make sure that you focus and you're learning the material and you're um, prepared to pass that NREMT. I mean, that's your end goal because what's the point of, you know, not doing your work? I mean, I've seen people like fail this class, you know, just because they didn't study. Some people got caught up drinking and hanging out and stuff, but don't waste your money. Like, seriously, do not waste your money doing that. Um, you never want to d depend on your partner when you become an EMT. Like, you don't want to be that dumb EMT. So definitely, you know, study and make sure that you're preparing yourself to treat your patients. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i assuming that's what you're in it for because you like to take care of your patients. Um, but definitely don't play around. Take it seriously. You know, I studied really hard for it. You know, I, I studied before class, after class. Um, and I just got it done. So once you've done all the studying, um, now it's time to actually take the NREMT. And that's the national exams that EMTs have to take. Um, it's about $80. I think it's about $80. But your program should cover it um, the first time you take it. So you definitely want to pass it the first time. But if you don't pass it the first time, you're fine. You know, I, I've known people that didn't pass it the first time and they passed it the second time and that's a-okay but just try not to um, pay that extra eighty dollars you know you want to pass it that first time um, and how you pass it is you know you learn you 
you have to like learn how to take this exam in your class. They should be preparing you to take it. Um, they should give you practice um, test questions and that should help you prepare for it or at least know the setup of the NREMT. And if you're in a program that doesn't do that, then that means that you didn't choose a good program. <laughs> Um, so definitely, you know, focus in class and do practice questions, do like a whole bunch of them. I think that helps more than, you know, trying to sit there and read and learn all the information. I mean, of course you need to learn all the information in your class, but you have to actually practice, you know, um, because I think these questions on this exam are set up like, um, differently you know it's not your typical exam questions like you have to learn how to take it the way they want you to take it you know because you could be right in everything that you're saying but they want you to take it a, a specific way and you just have to learn how to do it their way you know it's not about you just do it their way um and i would also get apps on my phone you know that's what i did um, there's a lot of apps um, on how to on how to pass the NREMT. There's a lot of practice questions on them, um, so you could be you know at work and just sitting there like doing practice questions, um, like on your break or something. Um, there's also online resources. There's practice exams online, um, and I would definitely like take advantage of the free information I didn't buy anything extra you know I know people sell like books and stuff but I didn't buy anything extra to set for the NREMT um, and also I would read daily like read my notes like after I passed the EMT class every single day um, I would read like probably one or two chapters because it takes probably two or three weeks for them to actually approve for you to take this exam so you want to you know make sure that you keep up to date on the information that you learned in class because I think a lot of people forget the information um, and that's why they fail the test the first time because they probably they're like okay I'm done and then <laughs> they probably throw their book to the side but you know you gotta just make sure you keep studying and also um, make sure you take new notes like you know you may have your notes from class but when you're reviewing you want to make shorter notes you know just make them a little bit more condensed so you can just look over them um, right before you uh, take your exam like probably and so once you've actually passed the NREMT hopefully for the first time um, you just go out there and be great you know you want to push your skills to the test and Make sure that you're being the best EMT possible. Make sure that you're learning all the information that you can. Um, you're going to learn a lot just being on the road. Like, it's going to be completely different than what you learn in the classroom. But, you know, that, that foundation that you learned in the class should prepare you to be out there. Um, and I always carry my book with me, my EMT book, because... I forgot stuff. A lot of people forget because if you don't really see something every day, you forget it. I mean, even when I shadow doctors and PAs and nurse practitioners, like they look on the internet for certain things because, you know, if you don't see something all the time, like you forget. So definitely like when you do your um, like ride along or if you, what am I talking about? Not ride along. When you actually become an EMT make sure that you carry your book around because it may come in handy. All right, guys, um, that is how you become an EMT. In those short, easy four steps, that's how you become an EMT. It's not really hard. You really just got to put some work into it. Um, it's a great career. Um, I would say it's more of a foundation. You know, it's, it's something that's going to help you on your path to doing something greater you know some people become paramedics um, some people become nurses PAs doctors I mean there's just so many um, different avenues that you can go after becoming an EMT you know I still work under my EMT license um, as a patient care tech and I've just learned so um, many valuable um, skills and information that's going to help me on my path to becoming a PA. So if you um, are 
wanting to become a PA or a doctor or anything else, like I would suggest that you start at the EMT level and just work your way up. And always, you know, work really hard at whatever you're doing. Um, it will pay off eventually. Um, work hard in EMT school, you know, in, in college or whatever you're doing. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you're on the path to becoming an EMT, I want you to comment below and tell me how helpful you found this video. If you didn't find it helpful, if you have more questions, you know, just leave it below and I'll get back to you. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you later.